the mind. Conscious, subconscious, how does all this stuff work in simple explanations that we can all understand? Because when you're still, when you're stuck in it and making changes and learning things, it can be a bit muddled and confused and all the different messages we're getting. So, how about we keep it easy? Keep it simple. What are the functions? What do they do? What can we do about it? And can we target the right areas that we need to improve ourselves? Let's go. So, conscious mind. Some people say in psychology terms, it might be 5%, subconscious 95%. On average, that's about where people sit. And personally, that's another way to tell where people are at. If they say it's all ego, everyone's all in the mind, to some degree they're correct, but they are totally stuck in their own mind because that's their perception that's projected from. So, I'm at 1%, if not nothing, because I've done lots of clearing work, and that's when you generally start to learn these things. So, conscious mind, what does it do? Okay, sure, it rules most people's world, but it's essentially just the receptionist. So it receives messages from the body down here, it comes through the thyroid, it gets changed from the nervous system uh, across to left and right side, parasympathetic, sympathetic, masculine and feminine, and then gets transferred up here. So you can see, it just gets receiving messages. So if we go to a particular business or an office, and you say, you know, you want to charm the receptionist, you want to be, you know, in good communication and, and all that sort of stuff but are you going to get answers there you may think that you get an answers from your conscious mind but that's really just one percent and you need to get through that keyhole to open up the lock that is the body so you do get people doing a lot of mind work and they're essentially just reprogramming from their own stuff which hey we've all gone through so if we want to actually get proper growth for ourselves and our wider friends and environment and things, we need to get in to be the boss. Yep. The boss is where they make all, all the decisions in the 99% subconscious bodily temple, or the template for higher realms, if you want to go into the esoteric stuff. And, of course we do, because that's where we're expanding into conceptual thinking in the crown. And so we're going to get a lot of good benefits there. How do we do it? Let's break that down. What has it come from it? Well, after you've done a lot of clearing from your mind and your spirit and you've done a fair bit of work on yourself, you realize that the upper management is really the one running the show. If you've awakened the higher senses down here, which you have to basically master the boss and have a good relationship with the boss before you get to talk to the board of directors. And then get higher and higher and esoteric, but that's later. So, and then the gut. That is the one where we have our emotions and our programming. And what's the story there? Well, people say it's the heart and it's all about the heart. The heart is another receiving area. It's got a lot of circulation that gets all the stuff and the, the messages coming back from the lymphatic system through all the digestive organs. So whatever love or whatever we're feeling towards other people, it has to go through ourself with all of our imbalances. And then that'll come back to you. Again, as above, so below. If you cut it off here, what's going on up here, the heart problems, is going on down here with the digestive organs and the lack of purity in the blood. Oh, and we store all our stored emotions in our organs. So if we've got intestines that are totally blocked and never been flushed out in our entire lives and not functioning well with lots of green smoothies and green foods, and one meal in, one meal out, then course they're blocked they're not moving down far enough and then the the stuck stored stuff in the digestive organs cannot move down so they're naturally stopped from working at a, an efficient rate so they can pump out the emotions and instead we're storing them so we definitely don't want to be storing them because it's going to be really hard work to get them all out later on too much difference uh, the programming our mental programming where does it come from well generally it's in the gut in our subconscious mind, which is connected to our spirit and our soul. And the soul our plexus right here, or right here, is the point where our subtle bodies connect. And, and that's essentially a mirror of the nervous system. So, down here is where all the programming is. That's where we store the critters, the fungus, the mold, 
all of the different parasites and yucky stuff that we don't need that are controlling the nervous system and therefore controlling the mind. So again, 99%, and that's why we have to do a fair bit of clearing work out of here to get this one to work cleanly and clearly. So a receptionist is only getting the messages from the parasites, or fungus controlling the mind, or whatever else is going on, because there's a lot, usually flukes and intestinal worms, all sorts of things. So, and the reproductive system is essentially your spirit. So once we get through and clean and clear our soul in our solar plexus and our emotions, we've done that, we're starting to go down into the spirit, which is urinary tract and reproductive system. So what's stored there? Well, that's a lot of our gender issues, our masculinity, our masculine feminine roles, our creative centers. So if that's all blocked, then we have trouble creating and getting things done and getting those creative ideas. So if you notice that a lot of the guys who are ejaculating on a regular basis and only lasting for after five minutes, or some of them, that's a record time, then they don't have creative thoughts. And if you put in a new idea or suggest a new activity or an adventure or something, they're gonna go, no, no, that's different, it's too scary. Because they can't create a solution. And that is essentially one of the masculine traits, isn't it? Creating solutions so we can get things done and help ourselves in our goddess. Totally. Uh, and then the base. And essentially when you go for the nervous system of the coccyx, it goes down the legs. And of course, down through the front of the legs here, so if that's not connected, then we don't feel connected to Mother Nature. The general problems are there are going to be a lot of heavy metals. And also, it means that we don't detoxify because our heavy metals, a lot of our toxins are stored in the feet. And they're the ones that are actually moving and let us go so we can move and detoxify and have a balanced, active, enjoyable lifestyle. So how can we do that unless we have connection with Mother Nature and we can actually feel our feet? So a lot of sugar and calcium build up and oxalate uh, the problems with those. Oh, and then there's the messages that are not getting through to there is generally down to uh, a whole bunch of viruses or growth of polyps or hemorrhoids. So people who've got hemorrhoids generally don't go to Mother Nature because it would show up their imbalances and then we would have emotional effects on the mind because as above, so below, what's happening down here, and if there's growths and hemorrhoids, and then you're going to get growths and hemorrhoids up here. Yeah. It's not pretty, but that's kind of how it is, how the body works, right? You end up with depression people because they don't move and they don't sweat. And that's a result of heavy metals directly related there to there. So, oh, and then of course down the bottom is where our Earth Star Chakra is. It's a bit esoteric, but essentially it's a, a meter below our feet. And the more that we connect our crown or upper management and nervous system, from the top of our perception and all the way through to the bottom, then we've got a clean and clear energy system or clean and clean nervous system that is pumping at a high rate. You get your messages, you know exactly what the light or the message is coming from Mother Nature or from space or the sky or consciousness. Through your entire body, you're clean and clear, you are sharp, you are detoxified, you're clean, you're getting messages, you absolutely pumping health is just done it's dynamic and there's no mess around with that little sickness stuff we're actually an expanded being how cool does that sound it's easy enough if you know how if you have the right daily rituals and if you need a guide to help you with that it'd be lovely to help you so let's be expanded connected beings shall we